dear God, not another family vlog. I mean, they only have two kids and they don't even have a dog. Those kids are kind of cute and the wife is kind of hot, but the father of the family definitely is not. But he's funny, maybe a little bit chubby. Plus they're Canadian, French bilingually The family of Tim. Hey, you're gonna steering wheel cam again. Uh, I just stopped at Costco. Finally renewed our card because that's important. Costco, and it's really, it's really depressing because uh, we haven't been to Costco in a while because we had to renew our card, and we're like, well, we don't need stuff at Costco, and so we're not gonna renew our card. And now I just did all the alleys and stuff, and. There's at least six things we needed to buy for the house that we bought elsewhere that uh, were awesomer or cheaper here. Uh, like the microwave I just bought, which I really, really like, by the way, the one I got at the Mart of Walls. Uh, it's really nice, and it's really cool. But there's an even nicer one, uh, and it's by Samsung instead of, like, Danby, which is, like, you know, one of those brands that... Uh, it's not very... Uh, it's not it's not uh, high class or anything, but the Samsung one was really nice. It was the same price, and I kind of wish that we were here. Uh, the phones we bought uh, are here, and they're about uh, 20 bucks cheaper. And uh, so it's stuff like that. It made me kind of like sad. I saw some other things that would be really cool. They've got this TV thing, this TV stand, the, exactly the kind I want, where it's like this nice wood thing underneath, and you can hook it up, the, the TV up to this uh, bar on the back, but it's a three-in-one. So you can sit the TV on the table thing, or you can put it on the bar that attaches to the table, but the thing that attaches to that bar is also a wall mount. So if you need the TV higher, which we do, you can just put it up on the wall. So I'm going to talk to my wife. We're probably going to end up getting that uh, maybe for the bedroom and probably even for the uh, the living room. We'll have to come by. So I'll bring her by. Anyway, I bought her something. This thing, I don't know if you can see it in the back here, but it's a, it's a, it's a closed drying rack that she's been looking at for a while because we have a wooden one, but it's small and it's falling apart. So this one's stainless steel, so it's not going to, like, rot. Because it's putting wet clothes on that. Uh... Oops. <laughs> Someone just hit my car with their door. Uh, but I have a Saturn, so I'm not worried about it. It's a Saturn. <laughs> so, just a little bump with the door. Uh, I'm getting used to it. Uh, and I love Saturn for that. I wish they were still making them, because you can bump my door and it's not going to be a big deal. So, uh, like I was saying, uh, yeah, so I bought that. Anyway, um, it's 11.15. I'm going to rush home. And I'm going to work out, because uh, to be honest, uh, well, okay, this week, uh, Tim vs. Eric on my Mr. Tim is Fat channel is starting up again. So, also, check that out, check out uh, his channel, which is Enhanced Zero Zero, and check out my other channel, which is Mr. Tim is Fat. Uh, we're starting that back up. So he posted his video yesterday, I have to post one today, and to be honest, I have been completely lax the entire time we've been off, because he broke his finger, so we've taken two weeks off, and I have not worked out, and I've been eating terribly, like, like the most evil uh, food, it's, it's really bad, so I'm going to go home, I'm going to uh, do the video, and then also do a workout, hopefully, uh, if time permits, uh, and uh, then i got to go pick up Pickle. And uh, it's going to be a lot harder to work out with Pickle there. Also, there's some stuff I need to do at the house, so I need to... Like, the, the room is still a mess. Uh, so I'm going to do that, hopefully. Um, yeah, okay. We'll see you later. Second, see this hat I'm wearing? It's my super hat. It's like Dumbo's feather. It makes me feel like I can do way better than you. But even if I lose it, I'll still do better than you. Because Eric... It's all within me. It's all in my heart, not in my hat. Okay, I just finished my video for Tim vs. Eric, and I'm exhausted just because we have punishments when you lose. And my punishments for my punishment for losing last time was uh, I have to do this exercise called globe jumping, which I absolutely hate. They're really tough. And the worst part is, in the fit test, they come near the end. Actually, right in the middle. But it's right after you've done a whole bunch of leg workouts already. So not only are you out of breath, but your quads are burning. 
and globe jumps is very heavy on the quad work. So uh, they're like my least favorite. Ugh. So uh, yeah, I have to do globe jumps the entire time I'm making the video. Which sucks because there's a lot of things I'd like to say in the video. But uh, you're so out of breath by the end, you're just like... Actually, it's kind of good because I ramble on less in those videos than I do in like these videos. Anyway, so I just did that and I'm out of breath. I haven't even worked out yet because I got home too late. I'm going to try to work out. To hopefully Pickle will sleep when we get home. But I really need to because I am out of shape. Man, it's only been like two weeks. Oh. Anyway, time All to go right. get Pickle. A mood has just come over me. This happens to me from time to time. But I am in a ridiculous mood. I'm in a mood to do something irresponsible and and, and, and pretty crazy. Yes, Sunshine? I have my medical bottle bath. Yeah. First thing I got to do is uh, we're going to pick up my, uh, my parents' uh, dogs because... Uh, we have to do that because they're gone on vacation. But I'm also going to do something really crazy. I we're you know what we're going to do because I feel like doing that. Yeah, I want to go with you. You're going to go with me for sure. And, and pickles got to come too. Yeah, pickles got to come too. We're going to go pick up mommy at her work. Yeah. And then we're going to go to oh, Ottawa. Yeah. Because I would like to buy a book. There's a new book that has just come out here in Canada. It's been out for a book. Yeah, yeah, you can read the book too. Although, only until you can understand what the book is. Then you can't read it anymore. But I'm going to go uh, get a book. I've wanted this for a while. Uh, ho yes, hold, hold on. Hold on a second. Whoa. Whoa. Go get mommy. Yes, okay. <laughs> So we're going to go get that book, uh, but we have to go right now to go get mommy or else she's going to already have left. So uh, go get your shoes on. Let's go be oh, no. reckless. It's like, it's, oh, no. <laughs> we're not going to get home until late. That's why it's irresponsible. That's okay. Open the gate. Look at that. Dad's pretty awesome at gate opening things. Watch out for that chair. Hold on. I'll move that. Don't, don't go any further. Just sit down. Or, or go further. <laughs> It's ringing. I'm calling a... Ah, uh, it's an answering machine. You got mommy, daddy? I am. Hey, sweetheart, it's me. Uh, don't leave work. We're coming to pick you up because uh, I feel like doing something ridiculous. So uh, I'm going to come pick you up. Okay, bye. Hello? Hey. I want to go to Chapters and get my book. I just needed to get out of the house, and I'm like, what's a good reason to get out of the house? I'm like, oh, is it after the 28th of June? It is. It is after the 28th of June. So I looked and uh, Chapters has 61 copies of it. So They're in the back of my car. What do you mean, where are the kids? Oh, I left them at home. They're sleeping. It's cool. They're just asleep. Yeah, I'll put you on speaker because you're also on... I'm driving, so I'll put you on speaker. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, so we're coming to pick you up, and then uh, and then I'm gonna drop you back off at work. And so then we gotta pick up my parents' my dogs. Huh? So we can bring my car back. Yeah, or I mean, you could follow me, but that'd be kind of crazy. Yeah, or you can just go to Walmart. That's my thing. What? Could I tell you to go alone if you take two cars? That would be stupid. Yeah. So, what, you want me to go alone? You're just going to go home? No, no, no. I want to come too. Okay, well then I will... Uh... You have both kids. What are you going to do with both sleeping kids? Uh, uh, put one in the stroller and then uh, make the other one walk. 
She won't be sleeping if she's walking. <laughs> are, you, are you close or? Uh, I just left the house. We're just getting on the 50 from uh, from uh, the airport exit. Shit, this is long. Yeah, well, it'll take like 10, 15 minutes. An hour more. It's not going to take an hour. There's no traffic. No, I know. It's still. I'm going to be there in five minutes. You're going to be where in five minutes? No, no, you're not going to be here in five minutes. Yeah, well, you're done in like eight minutes, so calm down. <laughs> I don't mind. All right, well, uh, yeah, I'm like driving. And uh, you're on speakerphone and uh, on uh, steering wheel cam. So uh, oh, you're filming. Yeah. Well, I'm just holding. I'm holding the phone next to the camera so that I can keep both hands on the wheel. <laughs> I didn't know you were filming. Yeah. Well, everybody can hear me. Yeah, I hope so. If not, this is going to be a pretty boring vlog. <laughs> okay. So uh, I'll see you in a bit. I love you. Love you too. Bye. All right, even better news. I just got off the phone with Evan. Uh, Evan, well, like my like best friend, business partner, guy who does uh, like all this really cool stuff. Actually, check out his channel. You see, uh, you see Abrams, like the letter E, the letter C, and then A B R A M S. Uh, put that after the backslash on YouTube.com backslash. He does some really cool stuff. Anyway, he's like one of my best friends, uh, like ever. And uh, he just called me and he's like, uh, hey, uh, just wanted to touch base. Uh, also let you know, I finally got an interview at a different place. So uh, you want to, so, uh, let's, uh, uh, so, blah, blah. so he's telling me that because I know people at this company that he's an interview with. And uh, it's like, it's, his skills will be uh, awesome at this new place. Anyway, uh, he, uh, I said, well, I'm driving. I can't really talk on the phone. And uh, he's like, cool, well, I'll call you later. I'm like, well, actually, I'm going to the bookstore, which just happens to be, like, literally three minutes away from his house. So I'm like, look, uh, I'm going to be at uh, that bookstore in, like, uh, half an hour. Uh, why don't you come uh, join me and uh, look at this ridiculous book I want to buy? And he's like, yeah, sure, I'll see you. I'll see you in about half an hour then. So that's the good news. Uh, Evan's going to be... Uh, uh, at the bookstore, I'm gonna get to see Evan because I, I, I don't get to see Evan nearly as much as I want to see Evan, and especially since the move's been happening, like nothing's been going on. I haven't been talking to anybody. Uh, I've been focused on that, and it's been kind of a, kind of a pain. But anyway, um, yeah, Evan's gonna be at the bookstore. Okay, so I'm there in the car. What did you just say? I wish we had the camera rolling, but <laughs> this is what happened. We're sitting at the red light, and we're almost at the bookstore, and uh, my wife's like, uh, what kind of car does Evan drive? And I'm like, I was trying to remember because he scrapped his Ford. And uh, I'm like, ah, and she's like, like that? I'm like, well, a Toyota, but not like that. And then as it drove by, you could clearly see Evan <laughs> driving the car. Like, Evan, nobody else looks like Evan. Like, you can, when it's Evan, you know it's Evan. And so it's like, well, not like that, well, actually, exactly like that car. Mommy. So I just felt like an idiot. Wait a minute, please. While I'm saying that that's it, there's no way, they're like, no, he has a car kind of like that, but not exactly like that, that just happened to have been exactly it. <laughs> Okay, film her. She really, really wants what? to be filmed. Oh, yes, you saw the... the yeah. Where did we went last time? Cosmic that? Adventure. Yeah, Cosmic yeah. Adventure. We drove by Cosmic. Uh, yeah, so we just, yeah. we just drove by Cosmic. So she's like, I want, I want, I want to go there. I want to go there in the park. I love, having, uh, I love having a French kid because <laughs> when she speaks English, it's so cute. What? Yeah, you want to go again there. I understand that. I want to go again too. I want to go at there. At there, please. <laughs> so here we are. Chapters. Who are we going to see, Aya? Who are we going to go see at Chapters? Huh? I know. Who's going to be there? Remember Daddy talked to him on the phone? There he is right there, walking into the store. Evan. Oh, man. Hey. Hi, Evan. There you are. Hi, right, let's go.
let's find a parking. Hey, it's that Evan guy. We're gonna buy some books. It looks smart. This gardening <laughs> book. Gardening in no time. Look, I'm done it in no time. <laughs> I just made the joke. The black swan. The impact of the. Oh, that's not the. That's not the sexy lesbian ballet, but a Fight Club, is it? Humor. Here we go. Oh, that's a good book. I read that. That was good. I enjoyed that. Uh, have I read anything else? No. You just don't know that that book happens to be the one the movie was based on. The Bossy the... Pants? No. <laughs> what are you talking the about? The Black Swan book. The, oh. the movie is based on the business book. I see. And it's an allegory. There's supposed to be 61 copies of this thing. My guess is it's like on a table somewhere. Sports. French. French. Broco. It's supposed to be in the humor section. Uh, anyway, it's written by Adam Mansbach. It starts with an M. Uh, David Sedaris. These are not in order. <laughs> uh, Spectre. Yeah, David Sedaris. Who, by the way, very funny. Max, this is a book by Dimitri Martin. Oh, Dimitri Martin has a book? Uh, there you go. Wow, it's tiny. Well, I was so, expecting it to so be way more. Well, no, there's like a, it's got, it got republished. Oh. Well. No, there's 61 copies of this. There's got to be like another place where have this all is. all been purchased. All copies have been purchased. Yeah, but I don't want to pay 16.95. If you go to the website, it's like nine bucks. Oh. That's marked except, up for you. Except then I have to wait for it to get here. You could buy Bossy Pants instead. A perfectly good I've book. already read it. Oh, uh, me too. <laughs> I read it on the plane. But uh, Dimitri Martin has a book. What the hell is it about? It's just all of his jokes. So it's like a hundred sentences. Oh. I don't know. I don't know if it's capacity. You don't know if it is? I don't know. You're just like lying. Well, I, don't, I want to know what these are. These look to be the Twilight series, but told by uh, Barney Stinson. Not even at all. <laughs> Not even a little bit. This is the bro. You haven't read the bro code yet? No. It gets really long and boring because it's basically all of the rules of the bro code. Okay. I don't know what the playbook is. Neil Patrick Harris. Hopefully better. Neil Patrick Harris is gay. How can he be a bro? Are there no, yeah. Bros? This isn't written by Neil Patrick Harris. Oh. It's written by Barney Stinson. Oh. Because I saw this fabulous man on the cover and thought, yeah. he's going to tell No, me no, he's this is bro. Barney, who's not gay. <laughs> okay. Who's played by, obviously, a fantastic actor. <laughs> yeah. Because he's not playing himself, right? Yeah. See, what, when, I, when I'm on screen, I'm acting. I'm not, a, I'm not a wizard, but when the director says action, I become a wizard. So the process is Sir Ian, Sir Ian, Sir Ian. Oh, I've seen this. This is, this is, also, this is also on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Derivative. Derivative. Oh, this was really good. Uh, uh, the the official shit my dad says book. Uh, I, I cried a little bit. I, it surprised me, but I did. I really did. And what also surprises me is that, that this book is $17. When I could get it for $9. And because I'm such a need-to-have-things-right-now type of guy... You're probably going to buy it. I'm probably going to buy it. Yeah, I'm going I'm to pay twice as much. For half the size book. For, well, I don't think it gets bigger. No, the full size book is worth. Let's see if we can find the other 60 copies of this. Hey, we're sneaky filming because we're not allowed to film in here, apparently. I've been told. I'm, I'm probably going to get kicked out before I could buy my book. What is the Red Pyramid? It's Rick Riordan. Rick Riordan's really good. He did the Percy Jackson series, which wasn't that great, but he's a, he does a, he's an award winning adult mystery writer. And they're really good. I've read his adult uh, mystery books, and they're really, really good. Cool. They're, they're called, uh, well, I don't know what they're called, but they're about a guy named Trace Navarre. It's, no, they're really good, really good. <laughs> he's a private eye, but he doesn't want to be, well, he does want to be a private eye. But uh, he's, anyway, read the series. It's really good by <laughs> Rick Riordan. If you like his kid's uh -oh. stuff, you're going to love his adult stuff. If you haven't read his kid's stuff, then just read his adult stuff, because Percy Jackson, man, not too, not too great. Red Pyramid's okay. Oh, these way better covers. They're not way better covers. These are way better covers. No, they're not. Look here, here, here. Look at these covers for the Harry Potters. These are uh, reminiscent of, hey, um, how can we get adults to read them? Oh, let's make them look like the C.S. Lewis Narnia books of their youth. See? That totally looks like The Green Chair by C.S. Lewis. Now I have to find The Green Chair over here. Okay, we're going to go. <laughs> Oh, it's so funny, like it's crazier. It's so true. <laughs> oh, no, the lights. What happened? I'm not Are you gonna read some of it to us? 
I can, but I don't read very well in English. So I'll try. Mama, I want my sister. She's reading a story. I want to sleep. I want my sister. <laughs> the cats nestle close to their kittens. The Mommy. lambs have lived down with the sheep. That's right. You already ate your chips, sweetheart. There are no more. There you go. You're cozy and warm in your bed, my dear. Please go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> the windows are dark in the town, child. The whales huddle down in the deep. I'll read you one very last book. If you swear, you'll go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> the eagles who soar through the sky are at rest, and the creatures who crawl run and creep. I know you're not thirsty. That's bullshit. Stop lying. <laughs> Lie the fuck down, my darling, and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that's enough of that before oh, yeah. Aya starts picking up on uh, some of this horrible verbiage. Yes. <laughs> so let's, so uh, everybody who is a parent Should, like, <laughs> needs to own this book. It's by Adam Mansback. Right there. Um, we paid $17 a chapters because that's how much it costs. But if you order it from chapters.ca, it's only $8. But then you have to pay for shipping and handling and get it next week. So Amazon and chapters have better uh, prices. So if you're already if you're already going to buy things from Amazon, throw this into your basket. Uh, if you have the free shipping for over $39. Because it's way worth it. Way worth it. It's very funny. Oh, you need to pee? Yeah. Uh, is the Starbucks still open? No, Starbucks is closed. Okay, we're gonna go home really quick, sweetheart, and we're gonna go pee, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna go. Gotta go! Oh, I guess we can wrap it up. I don't see a reason to... Yeah, it's really late. Yeah, it's really late. So, I uh, love you guys. Mwah. High five. Uh, go check out those books we were talking about. Uh, check out Evan's channel. Uh, well, actually... <laughs> I don't know if you'd be into it. If you want to learn how to do special effects on computers and stuff, then yeah, check out his channel. Other than that, uh, maybe maybe just we'll check it out. Just ask us to have him on the blog more often because he's awesome. But he doesn't. He's no. He does. He does tutorials. Anyway, love you guys. High five. You gonna high five? Wow, that was hard on your camera. High five. Bam. Bam. High five. High five. Bam. And a nice kiss. Yeah, and a hug. Oh, very good. Pickle, high five. High five. High five. There you go. Yeah, good for you. See? Nine months old, she already understands how to high five a vlog. Okay, good night.